Now that we learn how to collect uh, logs and replay them, let's uh, create our first rule. So here we have, uh, I'm using nano here and I'm putting the um, uh, the logs of somebody accessing facebook.com and we actually want a rule that uh, we wanted to fire on it. So we actually uh, save the actual uh, the actual uh, file into facebook.log and we are ready to replay it. So we are the OPT curator bin uh, directory and we're gonna replay the actual uh, Facebook log like that. And I forgot to specify the mandatory uh, command of the uh, number of uh, megabits per second where I want to replay the logs. And as you see, uh, when I play it in here, it takes a command. But notice that what I get here in Curator is a known event uh, because this is the first time Curator sees this particular event, so it hasn't auto detected. Curator can detect the logs, but normally it waits until it gets, I think it's uh, 25 or so events to know that this didn't come here by mistake. These are real events that I want to auto detect. And what we can do to actually make that happen is to make this uh, actual thing uh, loop until uh, Curator recognizes it. So actually, let's let's do that right now and do the minus L. So this is going to be running and notice now how the event keeps playing and bingo, now it's beginning to uh, detect them as a TCP uh, miss. So now I can actually stop that in here because this uh, web proxy has been uh, auto detected. And if we go into the admin on the log, log sources, we see that this web proxy uh, element is actually has been, uh, today's uh, January 26, is being uh, auto discovered. So good, now Curator knows about that event. One more thing that you may need to do when you are performing this type of uh, rule creation is that if, notice that if we go here, I pause the logs in order to go into one event and then we see in here that I don't have a URL custom property. Now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to extract uh, the uh, URL property. Again, I'm making this perhaps more complicated than what you will have to go through, but I just want to show you this and many other videos will show uh, you know, more complex uh, situations. So in this case, we need to add uh, the new property, which is the, the URL. Actually, it's not a new property, it's an existing property. So I select here uh, from the pull down the URL, that's the property that we want to extract. We want to optimize it uh, to for the searches on the rules. And here is a standard regex for ca catching URLs and as we see on the test uh, it's highlight here that it really grabs uh, what I want which is uh, facebook.com and we'll see actually in the rule uh, that it grabs uh, something even more than that because it, it captures the entire uh, content of it and we're doing that on purpose to show how to debug your rule. So we can save that. Now we are ready to replay our our uh, log. We are not looping. We are only going to do it uh, one time. And we can actually wait here, or we can actually force it to say, "Well, show me what I have done in the last five minutes." I didn't have to do that. It just uh, came here, and I can uh, pause and go into the event and I should be seeing the URL and yep, yeah, beautiful. Here it is, it's a custom property that we added simply by putting the regex to catch the URL because we want, remember that we are creating a rule that's gonna fire when the user goes to Facebook. Now we go to rules and we're gonna create a new event rule. And what's the condition that we actually want to look for is uh, so I can do it on I mean this is many ways of doing this I can do when the event matches the URL or I can do use a, a search and when the event matches this search filter or well, actually I did it already twice so and the filter that I'm going to select here is precisely URL so I go here and I type URL and that's the and it's uh, equal of any and I'm going to put www.facebook.com 
Com. and I add that filter and I submit it and I have my rule already ready to be uh, tested now things that I uh, like to do when oh first of all I need to apply a, a, a name so I'm going to call this Facebook uh, rule it's a good idea when you're doing your own stuff is to put some acronyms at the beginning. Uh, we like to put ACME, you know, at the beginning, uh, on the score, whatever. So your rules, you know what is it that you are, uh, that you modify. Also, if you are going to modify a rule that comes with Curator, it is best that you duplicate the rule and then save it uh, with your very own name. Uh, so the, the, after uh, giving it a name, and there are a couple of things that I always like to do. One is I like to select this option that, uh, you know, but you wanted to create an offense, so you need to select this checkbox, otherwise it's not going to do it. And I want to index this based on whatever custom property. It can even be the URL, because you can index actually on, on the actual URL, uh, uh, on the URL custom property. Uh, but I, we can just leave it at the, the source IP. It's, uh, so you want all the events to be uh, grouped by the same uh, index condition. So let's leave it on uh, source IP. And I also, uh, in order to help me uh, debug my rule, I like to dispatch an event when the rule actually fires. So I'm going to go, you know, user went to Facebook. And you need to put a description as well. Uh, if you are doing UBA, and I put a separate video on it, uh, you can put the sense parameter here to make that uh, offense contribute to the risk of the uh, actual user. And you can specify what category, uh, high level and low level category, this uh, 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 contributes uh, to. You need to make sure that that rule is actually uh, enabled. And it's not a bad idea to, you know, ensure that this part of uh, uh, is uh, select this option ensure that this part of an offense also index on the source IP and I like to you know replace the actual name once you're done your rules is ready to be tested so we're gonna be uh, replaying the events and then we are going to try to see the, if the rule fires or not and if not we're going to determine why that is we don't have any offense we get the logs ready to be replayed and we replay that uh, single log and we see it coming in here we pause here to inspect it and we we're going to notice that it doesn't first of all we, we know that it didn't fire uh, an offense because it remember that we created a dispatch a new event and we didn't see any new event generated as the offense uh, and they actually if we go to the offenses tab and we refresh this in here we don't see any offense so why isn't my uh, uh, offense actually firing the most important part of this video is that you need to go here always where it reads custom rules and these are the conditions that are met uh, to get that rule fire and you see that the condition that we put in here it is not why is that so let's go back to the offense and actually uh, uh, on the offenses tab and look at the, at the actual rule and again I can sort them uh, alphabetically and, and I put ACME so it shows at the beginning or I can sort it by modification date and the problem is that when we created this rule we did not select the, uh, the best condition for this so here in the rule, if we go to the actual condition, let's actually see this in more detail. We specify in here that, you know, the uh, URL contains facebook.com, uh, equals to facebook.com. Let me actually go back there, that this is what we did, URL equals to, and we specify here, www.facebook.com. Well, what we should have selected is contains any of, because there were other things besides uh, facebook.com. Remember that in the URL, 
we saw uh, additional uh, content after the facebook.com uh, parameters and now we can add this and submit that and we can remove the other uh, the, the, uh, the other condition this condition actually I should have uh, deleted that one so let me take that one and remove it and leave only contains uh, facebook.com good let's leave the rest uh, the same and let's uh, retry this and clean logs in here nothing in my offenses we replay that event and we will see it here and, and this is actually a very good indication notice that we got that I the event dispatched by the custom rules engine because that's what we wanted to do the, the, we, we, we said when this offense actually triggers we want to dispatch uh, an, an additional event so that tells us that we actually got what we wanted which is our fence uh, firing also if we retrieve the events for the last five minutes we actually see that we got there that red dot indicating that the offense fire we should have an offense here and sure it is it uh, we have the offense that we created now let's do something else before I leave this video it's been a little uh, too long already but uh, there's something important that we actually want to do we actually uh, want to modify this rule because we don't want this is a very expensive rule because it's going to be for every event it's actually going to be uh, evaluating this condition so let's add a condition on top of this one first one thing also for debugging your rules don't start putting all the conditions on uh, on once start one condition at the time tested it and if it good keep adding more conditions onto it but don't put way too many more than one actually I don't like to do it because sometimes uh, it, it makes it harder for you to debug later so I want to modify this rule again to make it only fire when I get events coming from that log source that was actually auto discovered as we did at the beginning so I put here the word detected and I select uh, this uh, particular option when the events were detected for one or more of these log sources and the log source is the, that web proxy that one over there uh, so I submit it so now my rule has to part but if I if I'm doing all this I need to change the priority and I want this condition to be analyzed first and that's why I click on the blue uh, button in there to make this one analyze and if it's not coming from this uh, element on this particular address on this log source it's not going to even go ahead and, and evaluate the second condition that's another tip when you have multiple rules in here as, as soon as the engine finds one condition that is false it's not going to go and evaluate the rest of it it's going to just uh, abandon uh, the stop so we, we now have a rule that if we were having many things going into Facebook it will only trigger when it comes from this particular log source.